Rain in just more than a week now, Oklahomans will head to the polls to determine the future of marijuana in the Sooner State. Yep, that is March 7th, a week from tomorrow. It's the special election for state question 820, and it would allow those 21 and older to buy marijuana without the need for medical cards. Sooner's Oklahoma's Amanda Slee joining us to explain more about the state question. and. That's what you're going to be voting for, Amanda. Good morning. Good morning, Justin, Corey. So this isn't exactly a normal time for an election. That's why it's a special election. And it comes less than five years after the vote that legalized medical marijuana. That vote drove record numbers to Oklahoma, of Oklahomans to the polls. Next week is expected to have just as big of a turnout. According to the March 7th ballot, state question 820 would allow recreational use for adults, meaning those 21 and up. It would also be self-funded with a 15% sales tax. The surplus money from that tax would go towards student services, drug addiction treatment programs, courts, local government, and the state general revenue fund. However, it will not change the current medical marijuana laws and regulations. Some who are against the state question say this will hurt Oklahomans, while others say data is on their side practical aspect of it is it's just not safe for children in our community. It's really not safe for any adults. Uh, we don't know enough about what's being put uh, in these substances. I don't think the, uh, the reg regulation has ever approached what they promised us. Peer-reviewed studies have found time and again that uh, children in states that have recreational marijuana, teenagers in those states, you don't see an increase in usage, you don't see an increase in access. That's just not true. It doesn't bear itself out. A big question is how much revenue would this bring in? Well, according to a study led in part by the Oklahoma Cannabis Industry Association, if it passes, the state could gain an extra $821 million from both medicinal and recreational marijuana sales from 2024 to 2028. Now, coming up at 630, I'll go over what effect this could have on the judicial system if approved. Amanda Slee, 2 News, Oklahoma.